pathways or proteins in the body that are known to be important for health and longevity. So how do we know if a food has been stressed? Well, you can start with the generalization that if they're grown uh, out in a field organically without pesticides, probably they're more stressed, right? Just remember, <laughs> eat, if your food is stressed, then you get the benefits. Stress your food so you don't have to. And so what we focus on are plants that are full of color. So try to eat bright red and purple, uh, dark green colored vegetables, because those are the ones that have these polyphenols that can turn on the body's defenses. And actually in my lab, if we give polyphenols to mice, they actually get healthier and run further like they've been exercising. You may be wondering what are some of the specific stress plants that Dr. Sinclair eats. In the mornings, Dr. Sinclair enjoys green tea, which is a stress food and full of polyphenols. I drink matcha tea most mornings, which is the, the very thick, dark green, creamy green tea. ECGC from green tea. This ECGC has great anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. While he enjoys all kinds of different leafy greens, he specifically mentioned spinach. Eat a diet that's definitely full of leafy greens. Particularly spinach is great because it's got the iron that we need, plenty of vitamins. For cooking, olive oil is good, which is often used in the Mediterranean cuisine. A lot of olive oil with oleic acid, which activates sirtuins as well. The Mediterranean diet is the one that I think is likely to be the, most, the easiest to do in the Western world and to have the biggest bang for the buck. For those who would find the completely vegetarian diet difficult to try, Dr. Sinclair mentions that the Mediterranean diet or Okinawan diet is a good alternative which he has practiced for decades before turning to exclusively plant-based diet. You were on the Okinawan diet for quite some time, right? Yeah, I was. It's mostly carbohydrate, so there's a fair amount of rice, but probably could have done better with a bit of brown rice. White rice sends you glucose through the roof. Right. But mostly what I was eating were uh, Chinese and, or Japanese vegetables that I could get at the local market. So they're organic, fresh, green, full of vitamins, and soy. Mostly it was that. It was a plant-based, soy-based diet with a little bit of fish. There are three supplements that Dr. Sinclair is often quoted to take. Before we look at it in detail, please note that Dr. Sinclair does not recommend any and he is not endorsing any brand. He does not sell any supplements. Speaking of wrong, we have a new theory of aging. We used to think that antioxidants were the cure to aging. Antioxidants have been really unsuccessful at lengthening the lifespan of anything, even a worm. It doesn't work that well. What are three things that you want to take consistently? I would take resveratrol. I'd take a gram with a bit of yogurt, NMN, and then metformin. I don't sell any supplements, by the way. Gotcha. I'm not making any money. Okay, you well, I don't recommend anything. I'm gotcha. just a PhD. The one chemical that I take every day is resveratrol, which is the red wine chemical, and that comes from grapes. So that one gets sprinkled into some yogurt in the morning. NMN is a, a version of vitamin B3 that makes a chemical in the body that we need for life. And that's called NAD. And as we get older, we make less and less of this. And without NAD, these sirtuins that we discovered, slow aging, remember the genes that we discovered? Mm -hmm. They don't work without a lot of NAD. So as we get older, our defenses decline. 